Welcome to Movie Magic Budgeting. Let's go over adding details. First, we need to access the details level of an account in your budget. From your top sheet, select an account. In this example, we will select the production staff account. In the menu bar, click the Go to Accounts icon to drill down into this account. To look at the detail of this Unit Production Manager account, click the next icon in the menu bar for details. You will see the basic categories for the details level. The first column, IND, stands for Indicator. The Indicator column will let you know if you have applied some of the tools in the application, such as fringes or globals. Next is Description. Here, you will enter as much information as you can about the Unit Production Manager usually something like the individual's name. Think of this as a notes section about your unit production manager. In this example, we will enter a name. When dealing with a person in your budget, you are calculating labor. The next set of columns will be used to determine the amount of time worked. For instance, this could be days or weeks. In this example, we will say the unit production manager is working four days. For amount, we will enter 4. For units, we will enter in D for days. The program will automatically populate for basic units of work, hours, days, weeks. Next is the multiplier column, which will take the previously entered amount of work and multiply it by the next column, which is rate. Here, we will enter the daily rate of our unit production manager. The subtotal will appear in the subtotal column. And that's adding details in Movie Magic Budgeting. Thanks for watching.